Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. I'm so good for all of my... Are you serious? Are you serious? Now, if you didn't know what that was in reference to, uh, the, the Washington Nationals Twitter goes, Thank you. Next. After you have Bryce Harper striking out. Yeah, that's right. He struck out two times today. But what about after that? What about after that? Are you serious? I mean, to, to, to get this thing going here, I knew it was his last hit, but are you serious with that home run backflip? <laughs> right into the Philly faithful over there in right field where the Phillies fans just traveled tremendously and took over Nationals Park? Took it over. Those fans would be ashamed of themselves, the Nationals fans coming out to boo Bryce Harper. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Congrats on your booing of Bryce Harper. You think he got the best of it tonight with his three hits and his three RBIs? Are you serious with that performance? Are you kidding me? After Scherzer, after Scherzer goes in there and, and gets him gets him pretty solidly, I would say. Two times in a row, he responds. A single, a double, oh, a dinger, and the best bad flip I've seen in years out of the Phillies. Other than that Michael Franco one from last season where he throws it up all goofy, might top it. But Bryce Harper, are you kidding me with that performance? There are so many things, so many positives that I could take a look at today out of this game and say, holy hell. Holy hell, as we start 4-0 and on the season. So where do I begin? Uh, Bryce Harper? Yeah, that was outstanding. I could have never imagined him having that type of game for his first game back in Nationals Park. I couldn't even imagine it. It makes no sense to me that the national fans are calling him a traitor, saying he's ridiculous for leaving. You do know that your organization, the Nationals organization, were the ones that screwed this up. They were the ones that let him go. It's your organization's fault for not giving him enough years and not giving him enough money. That's your fault. That's not his fault. I want to see you take less money. I want to see you take less years. That's a garbage mindset. If you think you would sit there and say, I would owe to play in D.C. Get lost. That's a joke. So the Bryce Harper thing clearly is the storyline out of this bad boy. But there were plenty of other positives. How about the fact that Zach Eflin literally dueled against Max Scherzer? And one, I actually love Max Scherzer. How can you not? He puts in so much effort into every single pitch. He is a dog. He's a competitor, a straight-up competitor. But Zach Eflin won that battle. Here are the two stat lines for the day. Eflin, five innings, nine Ks, allowed three hits. You take a look at Scherzer, five innings, nine Ks, allowed seven hits, and an earned run. Eflin just out Max Scherzer today. And I was stunned to see it. But that's a great storyline. Also, just the fact that this lineup battled and battled and battled and made Scherzer throw pitches and really have to throw a lot of pitches and made him work, made him earn it. This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't believe what the hell I just watched. How about Odubel's three doubles? How about Franco's dinger to get us going again? Oh, by the way, he was intentionally walked three times and was on base five. Oh, my God. This is our eight hitter. This is our eight hole guy. Gene Segura with three hits with a base clearing double with the bases juice to really kind of start the separation for the Phillies. Andrew McCutcheon was on base three times. We all talked about it. This lineup was going to be so lethal. Now we're seeing it. Now we are witnessing it. We are literally catching it with our eyeballs and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. We have a chance tomorrow to win again with Aaron Nola on the mound. Coming into this thing, I said, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind a, a split in a two-game set. We have Scherzer on the first day. I want to see what this lineup can do against them. I want to see the test. Well, we answered the test. We also had great pitching on the other side. But we have a chance to sweep this bad boy with Aaron Nola on the mound tomorrow. 
It started out with the rain delay, the Nationals fans just being losers. What a pathetic performance out of the Washington Nationals fan base. Absolutely pathetic. Gone by the sixth inning. The Phillies fans are there to the very end getting loud. We got Harper's MVP chance. We took over that stadium. Took over. Bryce Harper does his bow, the double fist pump to the right field section, which had almost over 500 people there that came in buses you couldn't have drawn up a better night for Bryce Harper in his return to Washington I seriously can't even process what the hell I just watched so many emotions so many positive storylines out of this game the amount of runs that we scored the amount of hits that we had and that's not just in this game it's over the first four games in general as we start off four and oh come on now fellas this is absurd this is absurd this is literally absurd. <laughs> All of it. All of it. There were a couple guys who didn't get much go in Real Muto. Reese Hoskins over on the day. Okay. Those type of days are going to happen. What I love out of this Bryce Harper thing tonight, though, was the response. Because let's be real, he's a human, he walks up to the plate, and as many Phillies fans as there were, there were Nationals fans, they were booing him. It was a little weak in my opinion, but they were there, they were there booing him, and it was noticeable, right? It was noticeable. And he strikes out twice against Scherzer. That's tough, that's tough. One count, he, he worked it back to 2-2, two, two, and he struck out. The next one was a full count, and he struck out. Scherzer's a, a hell of a pitcher, he does that to everybody, seriously. He does that to all, all the batters. But when Bryce came up, and he got those three hits, and that home run, that statement of that bat flip, holy hell, holy hell, was he a dog today out there. It's crazy because you, you can talk about so many things. Like I said, Odubel's three doubles, even though one of them dropped in due to the fact that the Nats stopped running. Gene Segura with the amount of hits he had. Franco's day. Zach Eflin's day deserves so much credit. There's so much. But the biggest, the most powerful storyline is what the hell Bryce Harper just did going back home for the first time. Well, his old home. Going back to Washington. It looks like he's having fun. He's enjoying this thing. The Nationals fans, they, they didn't travel like the Phillies fans did. You think through his career in Washington, he went to road games and saw that type of fan section? Cheering, we got Harper, all that stuff. Now, I know obviously the Nats wouldn't chant something like that throughout the last couple seasons in other ballparks, but just in general, they didn't have that type of fan base to go all traveling around the world. Get the hell out of here. He's seeing this Phillies fans and saying, yeah, I made the right choice. I made the right choice. This is going to fit as he hits another dinger and does the bat flip and has three hits and three RBIs. I can't even. I can't even. I'm so happy tomorrow. There's a nice early game for me to be able to sit back, relax, and watch the game. I'm wearing this again. I don't know if I'm ever going to take it off. I might sleep in it. I won't sleep in it, but I'll think about sleeping in it. The Nationals. Oh, so salty. All the fans so salty. I think NBC Sports Washington even put out, if you're not going to boo Bryce Harper, don't even come to the game. Don't even come to the game, they said. And then they put up the thank you next tweet. And then they say, yo, home, smell you later on, on a strikeout gif. Aha! They were sure quiet after that. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of everyone. So proud of everyone. In this game, throughout, before it, before it got broken open by the Phillies, we had multiple opportunities with men on and scoring position. A couple times, no outs. Guys left on third. We had chances. Zach Eflin at one point actually put a really good at-bat together with bases juice there. We had chances, and we weren't putting it away. But then Gene Segura came up huge. Huge. This is so much fun to watch. This is so intense, so much fun. This team is so lovable, so passionate about the game. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Leave me your comments on Bryce Harper, the bat flip. Um, I almost said Nick Pavetta. No, no, no. Zach Eflin. Segura. McCutcheon's three 
uh, reach base safely three times. Michael Franco, five. So much to talk about. So much positivity to talk about in this W. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't think you understand. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to watch the highlights 3,000 times. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.